Medway, Fairborne. Um, moderately busy road. You got your highway right over there, so that's 70. We're on a corner lot here. And the pictures didn't really give away a whole lot of what we're looking at here. You got three dimensional roof up there, which is good. It doesn't look like it's got a whole lot of age in it. You got one car garage plus um, carport parking. Helps keep the cars out of sleet, hail, snow, all that goodness. You are still on an old analog power box here, which is good. If you can keep that from being switched over to digital, do so. Once uh, you switch that power meter over from analog to digital, they capture every penny that you use. So you're gonna see your electric bill go up a little bit. Speaking of which, you are an all electric house. No natural gas service out here. Not to say it's not in the neighborhood, but it's not at this house. You're on well and septic as well. So you don't have a water bill, but you do have a well and a septic system to maintain. Two car wide parking here. Driveway doesn't look terrible. It could use sealed and maintained a little bit, but it's not really falling apart yet. But you're not far from it. You're sitting on, for the listing, about a half an acre just under. There's your well access point right there. Um, brick doesn't look bad. It's a little weathered on the, on the, on the paint there. But again, not a huge, huge deal. Go inside and take a peek. So you've got um, just a, a low dollar laminate flooring. It doesn't look bad, it's not in bad shape. Um, but like we said before, you know what I mean? They're not really meant to be around water until you start getting like the waterproof pergos. And you can see where it's starting to kind of bubble up a little bit from moisture at the front door. You do have uh, vinyl replacement windows, dual pane, your living room and this is your typical ranch style house here bedrooms will be off that way and pantry space eat in kitchen you've got a double size folding closet doors there there's your kitchen original cabinets now this guy was built in 1962, been on the market for two days. Started at 165, they are still at 165. You know, in the cabinet, the, the style of these cabinets is nothing, you know, to write home to mom about, but the quality is, is great. 1960s cabinets are great. You could refinish these and make these into something really nice. This is gonna go out to our garage. I can peek out here real quick. It's just a one car garage. Again, nothing super, super special. Little workshop there, door to the back. Um, a little bit of an older garage door opener. Do you have an insulated garage door that is newer? Just 100 amp service, nothing special again there. This is gonna take us down into the basement. So let's take just a quick peek at the view from the back door. And it's a nice little patio back here. You can still, even midday traffic, you can still hear that traffic out there. I don't know if you're picking that up on the video, but you can, you can still hear the highway traffic out there. There's your septic access. That means your tank is probably somewhere right in here. See where the grass is growing a lot better than everywhere else. And it's usually a sign of a, a leach field or a tank. There's your septic right there. Um, this is your heat pump here, so you're all electric. So this thing normally will run year round. It looks like you are 2008, 46th week of 2008 there. So 13 years, 
12 years really on that. The 15 to 20 year unit. So we can get a gander at this roof back here. And yeah, the roof doesn't look bad. No staining or cupping or curling or shingles starting to fly away or anything like that. The one thing I would advise you to check on, even though you're around more densely populated communities, it is a little bit kind of off the beaten path out here. Check your internet service providers, make sure they bring service out here. Um, the big one in the area is Spectrum. It used to be Time Warner. Give them a call, make sure they've got high speed internet in your area. Um, I see a dish, and the reason I ask, I see a dish um, up on top of the roof there. And with the advent of streaming services and internet-based TVs, not a whole lot of people signing up for Dish Network or Direct TV anymore. So if they've still got an active dish, maybe providing internet services to them. All right, so let's check out the bedrooms. Oh, wait, closet here. Just closet space. Nothing too special. Separation in the floor there. Nothing, nothing crazy. First bedroom off to our right. Looks like this one's going to be the master. Still got the uh, original green tile. And it doesn't look too bad though. The linen closet there. Looks like your toilet paper holder was maybe an afterthought. Different kind of view of the master. And it's not a big, big master. Let me see if they've got the dimensions of the rooms here. So this is a 13 by 10. The other two bedrooms are 13 by nine and 11 by nine. So not a huge, huge master. Got an older carpet in here. You can see it wrinkling up. And then your other bedroom using kind of this office space. Closet space isn't terrible, not great. Standard for, standard for the build. Let's go and see what we can see. With that, uh, I almost feel like nobody's living here. There's little pieces that tell me that nobody's nobody's here here. Um, one of them being the uh, smoke detectors that are just chirping from no no batteries or a, or a dead battery. So let's check out our downstairs. Now, one thing I'll say about the house is when I walked in, it smelled amazing, and not amazing like. Air freshener, amazing, amazing, like super clean, amazing. And this is another one of those basements where it looks like they had flooring down here. Once you see the gap between the floorboard and, and the slab, they had flooring down here once and got rid of it. Um, my first thought always goes to water intrusion. Drop ceiling doesn't look terrible. I'm looking for more switches as we come down through here. Try to get some more lights on. That ain't it. And it doesn't smell funky down here. It doesn't smell like there's ever been a water problem or there's an existing water problem. Maybe a situation where they just didn't want. They didn't want the flooring down here because it was old. There's a well, well bladder tank there. Here would be your utility room. All your block looks okay. There's no obvious signs of water intrusion that I can see. It's clean, super, super clean. But I think maybe they had carpet down here or something, just didn't want it anymore. And I do not see any Lights or switches down in here. 
sump pump. I know you probably can't see that, but that's your sump pump there. Um, just a couple of a uh, couple of posts. And then here is your air handler. Uh, people call this a furnace. It's not really a furnace because you're on a heat pump. So this is your air handler. 2008. Um, not bad. Got any switches for in here? No, again, I see a light up there, but I don't see any switches for the light. So there's your water heater. It's a newer in the past couple years, I think. And then storage. And that's kind of it. Super clean. If I have to say anything at all about this house, it is clean as a whistle. Your functionals, as far as your furnace, your air conditioner, your water heater, your windows, and your roof are all in good shape. Foundation's in good shape. Um, the only thing you really want to make sure that you're okay with the one is it's going to need, it needs cosmetic updates. Um, you can use new flooring, new countertops, you can refinish the cabinets. Um, maybe some new doors, some paint, just cosmetics though. Um, as far as all that goes, $10,000 would spiff this place up real nicely. And then from there, I mean, all your functionals are okay. And then you just have to be okay with the location being on a main road. And people zip down through here pretty quick, 45, 55, 60 miles an hour. Even. All right, I'll get this uploaded and send over to you guys.